Somebody's a little fussy this morning. Ada's trying to calm her down. Hard work being an uncle, isn't it? Oh, eight. <laughs> so cute. So we are getting ready to leave the house and go do a little bit of shopping. We've not shared why we're going shopping as Kayla eats her Valentine cake. Yeah. <laughs> are we sharing? I mean, should we or should we just wait till we have like stuff? The big thing that we get, we're gonna go pick up. We're gonna go do some shopping, pick up a few essentials. Still and tease you guys a little bit. We'll show you what we're picking up and buying and I know you guys are gonna guess from that. 100%, I have right. no doubt. Some of you have already guessed correctly. Some of y'all have guessed that I was pregnant again. They said that? I didn't read those. That is not a surprise. <laughs> She's not pregnant. Okay, we'll tell you that much. Not pregnant, but a bunch of you have guessed correctly. They have. They're, everybody's yeah. like, it's this, they're this, they're this. I'm like, yeah. Once you guys see like what we're actually buying, you oh, guys yeah. are gonna be like, It makes oh, sense. Duh. I was right, exactly. So, oh, I need see. to put some hairspray in my hair. Look at my little oh, flyaways. God. Okay, you're good. Let's go. I'm gonna put this in my bedroom to put all my wrapper paper in. It's a little mini trash can. Ready? So I can it just. It opens up. Yeah. I can just. <laughs> boom. All right, let's take the trash out. That's cute. All right, so do you want to do metal? They have wood and they have the red, That's the black, the gray. Um, you could do a combo of some some of these gray. I like the gray and I like the metal. I like metal better. But I do like some of these in the gray that they may not have in the metal. Or you could do black too. You may as well rust back. Um, it shouldn't, but it possibly could. Okay, so definitely one of these. And I can't get it down. Spaghetti one. A regular spoon too. Soup ladle. We need to get one of each, pretty much. Let's get one of each. Pizza cutter. Spatula. Is that special? It's a little, um, that one's smaller. Do you want both? I mean, uh, just one? Yeah. Okay. A lemon squeezer. You see, a lemon squeezer? So do you want a big one? Like this size, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Bigger. Um, measuring cup. Oh yeah, cute. It's a big measuring cup. Yeah. It's a little ladle. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's cute. Do you want um, an avocado scoop? I'm kidding. No. You do need kitchen scissors. They have those. And then they also have them here like in these. red. I'm going to do these. Okay. Can you get me a pair too? Yes. Salad tongs. Oh, you do need salad okay. tongs. Do they have them in gray? Uh, I don't think so. They might What's have it. What's that fork thing? That's that thing I was saying if you oh, wanted no. to, if you needed that. And look, this stuff's dishwasher safe too. This is fun. Yes, absolutely. It's a big one too. You want a cat litter scooper? That's what? Right. Why do they have a cat litter scooper? It's not, but I don't know what it's oh. for. Scooping pellets. I don't know. Okay, I do know what you need. You need to come in here and get you some silverware. This kind of silverware? Yep, this is what I started out with when I first got married. Yep. Oh, it's it. Are these dishwashers? Um, I got, I got, Let me look. I like, imagine they're all just for sure. Well, worst case, for us, you can make it to another one. Oh, sure. Here, put them to another one. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh. Well, look, there might be some. Moving on to plates. They don't have, oh, I like these. They don't have a lot, though, but. I love those. Those are pretty. The clear. Oh, they got four though. What? They got four. Is there at least four? Yeah. Yeah, it's something to start out with and then yeah, go to another one to and then get you more. Do you like clear or do you want to do white? No, I like clear. Those are pretty. You also could do like like the gray. The gray. Oh, these are pretty. The gray's not bad either. Oh yeah, those are cool. Yes. That's cute. What is it? Sugar? Oh. Like, okay. That's cute. I like the clear. Parmesan. There's some more down there. Are those just a darker clear? How many you want? I think four is enough to start out with. I like to say you need at least eight. Okay, come on. I'm just eight. being honest. Are you talking about warhead cubes? Oh, jello square candy. I've never seen that. Are you talking yeah. about the warheads? Do you guys see warheads? 
anywhere. Oh, here's some more heads. Yeah, that's what I just picked up. Oh, the taffy. Okay, we just finished up shopping for Kayla. Have to and Caleb and Caleb. I feel like I always leave him out, but he's not with us. I know. So it's if like, he was with us, I would be saying his name more. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that was um not as bad as I thought. It was a lot, but we got you a lot. I'm really happy. Like we got like we I got mean, a ton of stuff. Everything I'm gonna need for the kitchen. I can't imagine. You probably want to use half the stuff we got. I mean, like we, we got, got like potato random, masher. Like, I was saying, like we got stuff to like. Yeah. And we also got, um, probably got one of those. Did you get that seasoning shaker for you or for me? Yeah. Okay. We'll probably put Caleb's on. Flavical stuff in it. Oh, yeah. You should have got you one, brah. We have one yeah. at his at his mom's house. So if we she lets us take that one, one y'all can have that yes, one. Yes, because we don't have one. Oh, we did oh. get one. Of oh, the shakers? Ranch. No, not that. There was another one she got with the lids or whatever. Yeah, y'all could. Yeah. Yeah, which the holes on it are kind of big. It'd be a lot so of political. So part of me's like, It'd be really what cute. would you put in it? It'd be cute for Parmesan cheese. Parmesan. That's why I told Bradley she should get it and put in, put in it. Or on um, powdered sugar. Yeah, yeah. Like stuff like that. Yeah. Cinnamon. We like got the coffee, we got know. sifters. We got like that, milk and tins and a bread yeah. pan because I we I got a KitchenAid for Christmas and like now that I have my own. I about said it. What would you guys say? We're getting an apartment. <gasps> I mean, you're gonna honestly, spill the beans. Yes, because what else are we gonna have all this kitchen stuff for? I'm redoing my kitchen, guys. Yeah, redoing my kitchen with doubles of almost everything you bought. I'm just That's kidding. That's right. I'm kidding. I didn't get everything, but, but yeah, we got an apartment and we move in on Friday. They are so. We happy, get the you keys guys. on Friday, which. You guys are probably like, what in the world? Because let me tell you, it was not supposed to be this fast. We weren't actually supposed to move in to the apartment till the end of the month. But we ended up switching our lease. But we found an apartment that's bigger. And it's in the same like area. It's just a bigger floor plan. And we like the floor plan layout better. So we were like, let's just sign for that one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we were very excited. And we have rented a U-Haul. We are moving Saturday, but Friday we get the keys. So they're gonna, ha they actually have like professional company because they're there in cleans and paints and everything, mm -hmm. like after someone's moved out. Because this apartment's only a year old, too. So yeah. Like it's very bad. Somebody's brand only new. there one year, yeah. Exactly. I can't wait is. to see it because somebody was living it, so we haven't even seen it. I want to ride by it and see if we can <laughs> find that floor plan. It's unbelievable how much rent is. And their original plan was to go ahead and just buy a house. Yeah. That's kind of what you guys are talking about. That's why like, they had moved in with Caleb's yeah, parents. They're yeah. gonna save some money, pay some bills, and then possibly buy a house. But then Caleb's like, I'd much rather, and I agree. You guys talked about it, and she said they'd rather wait a couple years, get her out of school, have both have incomes. both incomes to get maybe the house they want to be in for a long time. Because I don't want to just buy a house just to get buy one. something that's not what we want just to have a house when yeah. we could rent something that's brand new nice and in the area we want like yeah that's something that was i also important. didn't want to sacrifice was the area because like because right now we're a family of three aspen's so little she doesn't need a lot of space right now mm -mm. she doesn't take a lot to entertain her so with our apartment that we got it's plenty of space i think for us i'm just really really excited to say the least I think this is them confirming my dentist I was say, I think I should do this. <sighs> okay, we got one more stop to go. We are home and it is lunchtime and I've had some requests for quesadillas. So that's what I'm making. Briley is getting stuff ready for me and her to have a salad. And we got some eggs boiling and she's cutting up lettuce and all that fun stuff. We got some more stuff there. Charlotte is just hanging out with us. Right, Charlotte? And we are going to do a haul for you guys, but it's going to be a minute because everybody's so hungry. I've got to get this crew fed or nobody's going to be happy. So, fixing lunch and then we'll come back and do a haul. How are the quesadillas? Amazing. Did good? How are the quesadillas? Really good. Lunch time, here's my salad. 
It looks so, so good. So I didn't put everything on it I was going to, but I have cucumber, tomato, egg, and lettuce, and a little bit of bacon, and my dressing. Fantastic. Thank you, Bradley, for cooking the eggs. I really appreciate it. And cutting up all the vegetables. Here is all the stuff we got. You got a bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh, like now. Wow. I, I know we have like three carts full when we were trying to like, <laughs> check out. Place. But holy cow, like this makes me so excited. So we'll go through everything and I'll go through and just kind of tell you guys what we all got. Yep. And some of these things are doubled up because some are mine. So we need to go through and get my stuff out too. Yeah. So you want to start over here? Sure. Okay, so first thing. We gotta get something colorful. This is not really my theme of the house, but it's Easter coming up, so I was like, we have to have like a little bit something. Easter something. Um, we got these really pretty um, bowls, and I love these. We got four? No, we got eight. Okay, we got eight of these. Where's the rest of them? They're over there. Okay, <laughs> like, they're wait. over there. Okay, so we got eight bowls. We got eight glasses, mm -hmm. and these are all like really nice. Like these are nice bowls and glasses. We got this mix and serve container, and I want to make homemade dressing. We got some silverware, so we got these. We got tablespoons and teaspoons, and then we Steak also knives, got yeah. forks. Gotta have forks. Did you get butter knives? Yes. Did we get those? Somewhere on this table. Are yeah, you right sure? here. Okay. Yep. Butter knives. We also got this like nice little paring knife that comes with a little cover, so that's nice. Some strainers for the sink. Mm -hmm. We got an ice cream scooper, <laughs> pizza cutter, a little like scooper to like get. I say eggs. Yeah, I was gonna say like hard boiled eggs. Yeah. Hard boiling eggs. Or I something. mean, you could use it for potatoes, potatoes if you're boiling potatoes, even your pasta, so yeah. you don't have to use a strainer. That is true. There, there's more yeah. uses than it's that. What is it called? I think like a, a skimmer. We got a spoon. A little like spatula. Spatula. I was like, what's this called? Spatula. I'm like baking thing. <laughs> we also got a pair of kitchen scissors because these are very important. A cheese grater so mm -hmm. we can like shred some cheese. A potato masher because I really want to like cook a lot. So like I would love to be able to have like, which I do now, have mm -hmm. all the resources. Like this is stuff we don't even have here. But I'm excited about this because I love mashed potatoes. And you can do this even like little like where you do the hard, not the hard boiled eggs. <laughs> you do the um, little baby red potatoes and you smash them a little bit. Yes. And yeah, that would be good. Then we got some baking stuff. So I got a bread pan, two cake pans, because if you make a cake, mom's like, you need to have. Me two. too. A cupcake tin or muffin tin, a brownie or cake pan, and then a cookie pan. Mm -hmm. Also got a coffee mug, and it says, welcome to my happy place. That's so really cute. This is really cute. Briley picked that out. She did, she did really good. We're gonna put that like with um, Caleb's like coffee machine. Yeah. We got, a, I'm not gonna lift them all up, but a stack of plates, and there's eight of these. A mesh strainer. Oh, I got one of those too, didn't I? <laughs> you can strain like cans or vegetables oh, over okay. it, you know, yeah. instead of using the lid like we normally do. That's true. <laughs> also got a big strainer because we have a bigger, we have a smaller medium one, but we don't have like a big one. And I know me and Caleb, we love pasta. If we eat that for a meal, yes, it might not fit in the other one we got. We got a plate cover for the microwave to keep splatters, hopefully from happening, which I have to remember to. Use it, but just keep, keep it in it. it. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's what I'm gonna do. We got this little cutting board, but it's glass. I really like that because I mean, I'm not gonna be cutting up probably that much, but I am gonna get a wooden one eventually, or maybe some plastic ones. They shouldn't have any. I told her that would be good just to lay your spoons on when you're cooking. Yeah, I almost should have bought me one. 100%. <laughs> I might go back. I that one that you like. That I know. One. I may go back and get one. We got some washcloths for the kitchen, pot holders, because we have like oven mitts, but this would be nice for like pots. Some Dawn dish soap, a like storage, storage container. I was like, what's it called? My words are right now. So Bradley found this really cute jar. That is really cute. And I love it. And Caleb's gonna be happy about this. So we're gonna fill it up with like Hershey kisses and like different candy just put in the living room because 
you like candy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, we got this, and this is like really nice glass. Yeah. And um, I'm probably, I don't know, I might even have sugar. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Sugar. Well, you could, or Parmesan. Parmesan. I'm feeling Parmesan for I it. I think it would be cute. I think so I might go back and get one of those too. Have a little Parmesan mm -hmm. cheese container. A big measuring cup that goes up to four cups. That's nice. Which is nice for like rice and stuff. Yep. Plates! <laughs> and these match the bowls. Right. That I tried showing twice. So we got eight of these and I just like, I love this color. I like the it's color too. It's very like subtle mm -hmm. and I like it. Then we got some hand soap because I bought a hand soap like dispensers. I just don't have like the soaps. Then we got more kitchen stuff. So we got <laughs> a pasta server, a spatula, another spoon, slotted spoon, and then a ladle for soup. Also a whisk. Or your that hot chocolate. Important. Yes, hot chocolate. Also a whisk. And then we got little measuring like mm -hmm. spoons and McCormick too. Yeah, like, they had McCormick, McCormick brand. McCormick. Yeah. It's crazy. And then salad tossers. And then we got some printed sponges for cleaning purposes. A laundry basket for folding clothes. A can opener because can't open up cans without that. Right. And then last but not least, we got a, another knife just for cutting up vegetables and maybe meat. I don't know. Anything that we need to. But lots of stuff and I'm very thankful. Told my mom thank you like four million You're times. You're welcome. Because like I'm very blessed that she was able to go out and bless us with this much stuff. But I'm like so excited. But your like, kitchen is stocked now. Oh, like you're done. I, mean, I told Kayla and he just called us like we don't have to buy literally anything for the kitchen. Like yeah. I'm so happy. Like, oh good. Oh, I can't wait. This makes me so excited. Like I can't wait to have my own place to decorate and to cook and clean and all that fun stuff. I'm sure the newness will wear off eventually, but like right oh, now. Oh, but it's, it's still gonna like, be nice to have it though. Um, and it's just so excited. And we did ride by the apartment and got to see the floor plan. Yes. Oh, we didn't tell on. Yes. So I might. It um, is even better than the one we thought. Yes. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna go home because Caleb's off work now with the baby, and then I think I'm gonna be like jump in the car real quick, let's ride out there so he can see it. Oh yeah. We cannot wait for the moving vlogs, guys. Me and Caleb have been packing since yesterday for being honest oh. and we are trying to go through everything because we have like all of our stuff in his parents house and storage and they're being nice and they're letting us take some of their furniture like mm -hmm. a love seat and everything so like we don't have to go out and buy like big furniture yes. so we're very blessed from everyone right now that we're able to do this because you know when you first rent an apartment if you've never done it before you need so much and it's so much need, money to say, get it like, started it's a lot up front compared to like a student apartment because like yeah. a student apartment you should pay first month's rent you're moved in where like when you get in a real apartment like you have to pay security deposit that's literally the same amount of rent and we have charlie so we have to yes. pay like double pet deposits because you get one back you don't get one and then you have to pay pet rent it's just it's a lot. I told Caleb, I was like, I know it feels like a lot right now. And for the next two months, it's going to feel like a lot. But once we get started and going, we'll be It'll good. settle down. But I can't wait for you guys to move in with us. It's going to be so much fun. All right. Kayla and the baby have left. And I want to show you what I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, just wanted to pick up a few things. Of course, as I was going through the kitchen stuff, I was like, oh, you need this, but so do I. You need this? Oh, so do I. So I got the same scissors as hers be, as because I'm gonna be honest with you, our poor scissors are pitiful. These may not even work very well, but we'll see how they work out. Mine are like some old school scissors I just changed into kitchen scissors. And then I got one of the steak knives like her. Also got the masher because we didn't own that. I got this, which, what did we call it earlier? A skimmer, which is not what I'd use it for. And um, I also got one of these because Brawley wants to make some kind of lemon dressing, like a vinaigrette type dressing she wants to make for that. I told her that'd be fun. And then also got one of those knives, like a paring knife. And Aiden needed a new charger cord. I hope this is even the right one. Yes, I think it is. His broke, like the whole entire end snapped off. I don't know if somebody like stepped on it or pinched it on something. But he brought it to me and goes, Mama, look at my charger cord. Like right now my phone's, I'm gonna tell you what my phone's on. My phone is on 19% because I did, have not charged my phone the last two days. I just normally charge it when I'm in the car uh, because aiden has been borrowing my charger. So we bought him a cord to go in his cube so now he can charge his phone. And I 
also picked up this, another waste basket. Aiden needs one for his room. Briley has one for hers and she fills it up to the very top. And I'm pretty sure Aiden will too, but he needed that. So I went ahead and picked him up one of those. Also got me a new mop bucket. Rental Kayla and Caleb were gonna get, that's a long video back. Um, that didn't work out for them so much at the time. And I had taken my bucket over there to like clean. It got left and I think it got thrown away. It's okay, I got a new one. I um, also got one of those covers for the microwave. Got one of those too because we used to have one and I don't know where it went. I don't know if it just got too old and we just got rid of it. But anyways, I got a new one. I got one of these little strainers and of course Easter is coming and they had like the cutest stuff at the Dollar Tree for Easter. They actually had a bunch more stuff I want to go back and get. But I was good, I held back and I didn't get it. I just got a few things. They had these window clings. I used to do window clings all the time on like my front door, back door, whatever. I'm not sure where I'm putting these. I might put these on the sliding glass door just so we can enjoy them. And on the back side is a bunch of Easter eggs. <gasps> They're so cute. And, oh yeah, found this. <laughs> How cute is that? It's like a little bell. I think I'm gonna put him on the pantry door. I think that's the plan. Kayla said, Mama, that's where you probably should put it. And what else did I get? I got a bunch of bags up here. Oh yeah, I got two little signs for Easter. Not sure where they're going, but I just couldn't pass them up. They were only $1.25 each. I was like, man, they're cute. And if I take decent care of them, I'll have them for years to come. But okay, tell me that is not cute. Look at the beads on the little string. I love that. That is so pretty. I feel like my color's a little off on my camera. I've been saying that. You're probably tired of me saying it. Um, and then Kayla liked this one and so did I. So also got this one. Super, super cute. So yeah, now I have to find a place for them to go. I know where one of them's going. I just don't know which one's gonna go where. But um, I normally do hang something right here in that spot. So I'm gonna put one there. Oh, I don't know where to put the other one. Um, I have two options. I could put it here and take that down, or I could take down my welcome and put that round one there. I could do that. Um, I don't know. So that's all the Easter stuff I got. But like I said, if you haven't been to Dollar Tree lately, this isn't sponsored or anything. It's just they had some really, really, really cute stuff. And the most expensive thing I saw for Easter decorations was like $5, but they were actually really good made they were well made so i'm not complaining at all it's just today was kayla's day i wanted to go and shower her with some kitchen gifts because i know that's one thing's been stressing her out she's like mama we don't even have glasses to drink out of we don't have plates we don't have forks we don't have this and that and i'm like we well, definitely need that and then we got in there and went a little overboard because you saw how much stuff i got her but they're gonna use it they'll need it you just you think Oh my gosh, I don't need a potato masher, but I guarantee you one day you probably will because I know there's been times I could have used it. So, but that was my little haul. Like I said, I picked up a few things while Kayla was picking her stuff up and then I saw the Easter stuff and that was my last stop. I told Kayla, I said, we'll go to Easter stuff last because if I go there first, I'm gonna load the cart up with all this stuff and then start freaking out trying to get all your stuff. I said, let me just, let me just do this. So I got all her stuff first, did the Easter stuff last, but there's so much more I want to go back and get. I really, really do. They even had, oh my gosh, you guys, string peep lights. You know the peeps? They were bunnies and they lit up. And I love those for my fireplace, but I didn't get them. I held back and they only had two boxes left. And I said, they'll never be there when I come back, but it's okay. It's gonna be fine. Um, I do have some Easter stuff around here. I actually have um, like a, a garland of fabric. I have a bunny too that goes in here. I gotta find my bunny. Do you guys remember the little, I think he's like a gingham print bunny and I sit him on the fireplace. Can't find him, haven't seen him. And I normally hang like from down here like my little string lights or something. The peep string lights would have hung so cute here. But I actually have an Easter like garland stuff. But I asked Bear, I was like, have you seen it? He said, I think I have, but I'm not even sure where it's at. So I'm going to run around and try to locate that. Oh, and I did order something on Amazon and it came today. Let me show you what I got. Not the best angle, but let me get this box open. I ordered this because we were at Walmart. Was it Sunday? I don't even know. We went to Walmart this past weekend and I saw them there and I've been wanting some. 
and I told myself I wasn't going to do it because it's not something that's like really needed right now. But I'm going to be honest with you. I've been wanting to do this in my pantry for a long time and I'm probably going to need more. But I went ahead and bought it. They were on sale like almost 50% off. And the ones at Walmart were even more than this one was 50% off with way less. Way, way, way less. Storage containers for the pantry to put like pasta in or noodles or whatever. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time and haven't because the containers are so expensive. And honestly, I really need to be focusing on under counters and stuff because that was where my focus was supposed to be. And I was supposed to focus on one room at a time. It just ain't working out, okay? So we're just gonna bounce all over the place and we're gonna buy things and put things as I see fit. And my pantry is one that has always bothered me. Will I use these as much as I think I will? I don't know, but I'm hoping I do. That's what you're supposed to get. And I just have a hard time believing all that's in this box. Do you think it's all in this box? Probably. Because remember the little Q-tip holders and stuff I got? I was like, man, they're tiny. They actually turned out to be perfect size. Oh, they are all in here. So one, two, three, four. That's a lot, that's a lot of storage containers. So whenever the time comes, I don't know if I'm gonna start on this today because there's so many more other things in the house I wanna get done today. Um, I will show you and I'll walk you through how it goes. I know these come with like little, um, like labels. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use labels or if I'm just gonna do like, a dry erase marker because here's my biggest fear with storage containers okay yes if you put cereal in them you can tell when the cereal has gone bad it's stale you know what I mean and cereal normally doesn't stick around our house but things that stick around our house that I thought about putting in here is like grits oats um, maybe one for flour you know things like that so part of me is like I wonder how well I mean, how, how am I going to label these to know when the expiration date is? Even if I have to, and this might seem really tacky, but it could work, inside the pantry door, have a little piece of paper in there and have on there the date, the expiration dates of everything. And so you open up the pantry or inside the wall in the pantry, be like, okay, the grits go out, you know, in 2025. I don't know. So then I'll know if we are still eating those grits, okay, they're old now. Do you know what I mean? So that might be an even better idea than writing on the boxes or the containers. I got one more package I forgot to show you guys. And what about, I haven't even opened it myself. This is what I got. Um, okay, they're not as big as I was thinking they'd be. I feel like I've been really on the game of buying stuff, but now I gotta do it, you know what I mean? That's the thing, I've only done the bathrooms. I keep buying all this storage stuff, but I have to actually start putting it in use, right? They're really pretty, the color, and I like the rope on the side. I was hoping it came with hard bottoms just to kind of help keep it more open. You know, but I guess once you stack all your stuff in here, it'll be fine. But that's what they look like. They're a decent size and they're pretty deep. That's the inside. Um, I got these to go on the top of the closet to just hold clothes that I really don't wear a whole lot, but just to make it look a little nicer up there. So you got three in a pack. So I got three of those. Um, like I said, don't know when I'll get around to the closet. But I will eventually. Um, so yeah, I think I've showed you guys everything. Oh, I did not. I still have another package I didn't open yet. What is going on with me? I got a lot of this stuff over the weekend and then never opened it. Okay, so a lot of you recommended different color sheets. If I wanted to go with something different than white, I had a lot of people say get gray. I had a lot of people say get navy. I had a lot of people say get like um, just a darker blue color. So I went with, that's a really pretty blue you guys. It's navy, it says it's navy, but it's not so dark of a navy. Definitely gonna look good with the comforter, okay? That blue color, and then you got those. Oh yeah. And hopefully get all this stuff put on my bed eventually. One day. That's how I feel around here. It's one day at a time because I've been really down and out over the last few days just with that headache and it just made me like not even want to get up and have to do anything. I just was like, dude, I'm so worn out from these headaches, but today's a good day. I'm not having one. I feel pretty energized. I feel like let's get stuff done. Um, I still have laundry to do, so I don't know if I'll get to like washing the sheets and stuff today, 
but maybe I can wash them tonight and redo my bed. Tomorrow's kind of like my plan. Um, but I have to be up like mega, 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 mega early in the morning because me and Kayla have somewhere to go. <sighs> I'll explain all that tomorrow because that's for another vlog. But yeah, so I'm gonna get off here now and I'm gonna put the camera down for a little bit. I'm gonna get busy in the house and hopefully I can get to some of this organizing tonight to kind of get some stuff going. I don't know, we'll see how far I can get. Uh, for now, I'm at least go around the house, do a little straightening, and then we'll go from there. Breakfast for dinner. This is my plate, swimming in syrup. All right, let's eat. 